Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing how to solve the kurtosis for group data. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Kurtosis, as previously defined, is describing the peakness of a certain distribution. And for group data, it follows this formula. We have K as the kurtosis equals summation of. We have here F frequency. Since we are dealing with group data, meaning we are expecting a frequency distribution table. So we have here the frequency and then multiply it to the fourth power of the difference of the class mark and the mean divided by the number of data in the set times the fourth power of the standard deviation. Don't worry, I know it looks kind of complicated, but we will do this together later in our example. And just to recall, a data set can either be one of the following in terms of its kurtosis. If the kurtosis is equal to 3, then we have a mesokurtic distribution. If it is greater than 3, then we have a leptokurtic distribution. And finally, if the kurtosis is less than 3, then we have a platykurtic distribution. Now, let's go to the example. So as I have mentioned earlier, if we are dealing with group data, we expect that the given is already in frequency distribution table. If the given is not yet in FDT, then we have to construct first the FDT. We have a separate video about constructing FDT. It's here. So since for this situation, we have constructed the FDT, we can just select the columns that we need for kurtosis. So for this instance, we are just dealing with the frequency and the class mark. And of course, the mean and the standard deviation. For the other columns, we can omit them for now because they are unnecessary. Instead, we will add the other necessary columns to compute for the kurtosis. And those columns are this one. We have x sub m minus x bar. It means each of the class mark will be subtracted by this mean. Next, whatever the answer here, we will get the fourth power of that. And the answer for this column will be multiplied to the frequency. Afterwards, you will get the sum of all the entries in this last column. And the sum that you will get will be substituted to our formula for kurtosis. So let's begin. We will work by rows, meaning we will accomplish all the entries for the second row, for the third, for the fourth, and so on. First, we have here 19. Subtract 19, 19 minus 40.27, we have negative 21.27. Get the fourth power of that. Don't forget to put this in parentheses. Type in your calculator negative 21.27 inside the parenthesis so that our answer will be correct. We have here 204,677.43. And then this answer multiplied to 5, we have 1,023,000 15. Uh, by the way, we always round off the values to the second decimal number. Next row, we have 30 minus 40.27. That will give us negative 10.27. Get the fourth power of this. We have 11124.53. And then multiply that to 7. We have 77,000. 871.71. Do the same for the third entry. We have here 0 0.73. Getting the fourth power of that, we have 0 0.28. Multiply that to 8, we have 2.24. Next, we have 52. 52 minus 40.27, we have 11.73. Fourth power of that will give us 18,000, 
931.81 times 6, we have 113.590.86. Next, we have 63 minus 40.27. We have here 22.73. Then getting the fourth power of that, we have 266,930.22 times 3, we have 800,790.66. And finally, we have here 74 minus 40.27. That will give us 33.73. Get the fourth power of that. We have 1,294,390.64. And just multiply it to 1. It will give us the same number. And then finally, add all the entries for this last column. We will have 3,310,033.26. Let's just rewrite this more clearly. So, wow, we are dealing with millions, with hundred thousands. So, make sure your computation is correct. And, of course, your rounding off should also be correct. As I've mentioned before, a certain error with just one digit will lead to a different answer and consequently a different interpretation. So, we will now recall the formula for kurdosis for group data. This part, this numerator, is this last entry for the last column. We have 33133.26 divided by, we have 30 here, 30 came from this, the sum of the frequency. We have 30 members of the data set. And then 14.99 is this standard deviation. Next, we continue here. We get the fourth power of the standard deviation, 14.99 to the fourth, will give us 50,490.13. Multiplying that to 30, we'll have 1,514,703.90. And finally, dividing these two numbers and interpreting the result, we have 2.19, and that is obviously less than 3. So meaning, our data set is flatly curtic. So that's it on how we get the kurtosis and interpret its value for group data. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.